Well, good evening and welcome back to the channel and a new video. Um, okay, so you have to excuse the noise in the background, that's the M40. Um, what I plan on doing is uh, a explore of the branch line that went from Banbury to Colworth Junction. Um, it's a line I've not really explored. Um, I've been along some of it, but not really covered it as a video. So the plan is I'm going to do a two part uh, today I'm going to be covering from what was the, the junction that led off from Banbury and probably up to the next couple of bridges along um, and then head towards what was known as Eden Holt. Now, actually before that it was uh, Chaikum, Chaikum Holt. So yeah, what we do is uh, take you over to part of the old line which used to run off to the back here but a lot of it's been lost to a, like a reservoir um, this is just on the outskirts of i'll just spin the camera around just probably see it, the outskirts of banbury's retail park so we're gonna try and see what remains um a lot of it's been wiped out around here but i know of a couple of little locations that are quite easy to get to and have a quick look at so i hope you enjoy this one line actually branched off coming off the main east coast main line which come off just over here somewhere and to be honest with you a lot of it's been wiped out like I said there's another there's a couple little bridges that are still in place so we're going to check them out um, but what we're going to go and have a look at now I'm not actually noticed it until I've actually been out for a walk the other day was a little viaduct type bridge that's still there so we're going to see if we can get there so while we're just walking over I'll just uh, sort of give you a little uh, in bit of information on the line itself so this is one of the most important features of the Great Central uh, extension it was a eight I think it's eight and a quarter mile link to Banbury Junction from Colworth Junction and it provided the GC with an important link to the Great Western Rail Railway for both freight and long distance cross country passenger trains. So the line had two halts. It was Chaikum, Chaikum Road opened in 1911 and Eden Road opened in 1913. The first halt was Eden Road situated from two, two and a half miles from Colworth. So this is heading sort of Colworth Junction back towards where I am now. Um, and then it's simply, you know, it's just two, Chaikum Road was just a little, a little halt. And then the line climbed at one, one in one seven six through Eden Road and then towards back, uh, towards Bambi Junction. So yeah, this main through route was closed when they closed down the Great Central Railway. And not a lot of it remains. But what we'll do is we'll do two parts. We'll do this little section here. And then I'll try and do a part two, uh, trying to find Chaikum Road, the remains of Chaikum Road Station and Eden Holt. Um, and then probably just stick the drone up heading towards Col uh, Cow uh, Colworth. Right, looks like there's some sort of fencing up here, so I'm not sure if we're going to get through. Right, so there we go, there's a little gap in the fence. So it looks like they're actually doing some work on these uh, walls. Well, you don't see this very often. Yeah, so you can see there's work going on with the, the side walls to this viaduct. That's the river down there. Let's just see if we can stick the camera around. I might get a better view from the other side. You can see someone's been doing some work. There's a train. So we go not too far off the link, which verged onto the Great Western. 
clamber down here. There we go. Yeah, our typical blue engineering bricks from the Great Central. That's quite a long viaduct. Sorry, Calvert. Culvert, should we say, not Calvert. There we go, that's nice to see. It's being uh, looked after. It's almost like a mini Catesby tunnel. <laughs> right, so this gives you an idea of the width of the track, or the track bad area which is around here. I'd say it's at least a good 40, 50 metres across the other side. I'm not too sure how close we're going to get heading over there towards the actual main line. I'll stick the drone up anyway. There we go, some nice retaining wall work that's been going on. I still see all the freight. This is the other side. Yeah, it's a nice little uh, culvert, that isn't it? Okay, what we'll do then, we'll stick the drone up and we'll see where the link was onto the actual Great Western, just over there somewhere, not too far, about 100 metres. And we'll just follow the route, the line, so you can see it from above.
Right then, let's head back to the uh, Marks and Spencer's retail area and then we'll head back into the other side of the M40 and I'll just show you one last little thing that's still surviving, a nice little bridge. Um, I think I can still get to it, we'll find out in a second. So bear with us, we'll just get through this boggy area and then cross the M40, obviously underneath not over the top. Right, so we're over the other side now, the M40. And this is where part of the branch line, or should we say the link line was lost. Um, it's been well wiped out through here from the M40 build and this reservoir path and so forth so I don't know if you can see it there just over in the distance a nice little bridge there still surviving so we'll see if we can go over there quickly before the sun sets and we'll go and take a look Small little stream to cross, just as I'm in my wellies. So at this point, the actual embankment itself has been taken away and leveled. Uh, the bridge itself is sort of set at a slightly different height so you can see the difference in ground level what's been taken out so this is probably a better time here to try and get to this one because uh, I've seen it a few times before but never really been up to it yet so it'd be quite nice to see So what we do then, because I'm losing light this evening, I'll continue when I can next get out over the next few days to carry on towards Chaycombe. Um, mainly drone footage, I think, because uh, a lot of the track bed you can't really access. And then we'll head towards Eden Holt. Um, got some nice old photographs that pop up on there as well and then onto Colworth Junction. So in total, it's sort of just over an eight mile route that got wiped out with the Great Central and it got closed. So we're not far away from this bridge now. It's on the rise back to track level. So quite a bit has been taken out. go so it's got its handrails and it's a little stream that's running through yeah, still gilder tight bridge Seems in reasonably good shape. Oh, saying that, it looks a bit rotten down there. Yeah, it's definitely rotten. And it's slightly on a skew as well. So there's a mark in there on the bridge. G. It's probably the bridge number there. So the capping stones are still in place, which is nice. 
Try to see if we can get down the side. Well, this is the joys of exploring thorn bushes everywhere. I'm hoping this little pathway is going to get us to see the bridge from down here. Right, well, I'm going to cut. Well, I gave it a good go. I don't think we're going to get much closer than that. So there we go, that's the remains of the second bridge along in the branch off from Banbury towards Colworth. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get in here again through summer. What a lovely evening. The sun's setting in the background. Right, so okay, that's it for, for today. Um, try my best to get to the bridge, but I ain't gonna go through that lot. So yeah, we're gonna head back now. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little explore today. Um, I'm gonna try and do a part two, um, cover the rest of the line at a later date, hopefully next week. So we'll see how we get on. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little one. Thanks for watching, we'll take care, we'll see you soon. Bye for now.